What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Electric Productions. I'm Jay, and I'm bringing you something new today, and I mean really new. This game's not even on Steam yet. This is a demo on this game's Kickstarter, and it's called Lonely Mountain Downhill. And Lonely Mountains Downhill is a kind of a, well, it's a bike simulator, but it's a little weird. It's not what you're expecting. It's... It's got like a really weird perspective. I love the art style. I like the perspective on the game. It handles so well. I mean, the controls are so sharp and so precise on this title. If you bump anything, though, just be prepared for the fact that you're probably going to wipe out. Like that. Now, this title has a one-minute working demo, and that's it. That's all you've got is that, is that one minute, and then it's going to restart you back at the top. So, it's perfect for trying it out, though. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And one of the things that's fun about this title is, is discovering new routes to take to shave time off. So, this time we're going to go this way and totally wreck. Let's try that one more time. You have a boost button that you can use with A, and the left and right trigger are go and break. There we go. Landed it. And then once you hit these little checkpoints, it will save your progress there. And that's good, because you're going to do stuff like that sometimes. So I used the boost there, and I really, really sped up. And then there's another jump right down here. Landed it. And like I said, half the fun is finding little shortcuts that don't totally kill you. Like, I found one. Oh, I almost made it. I found one right here that lets you actually skip both the jumps. But you got to be adventurous, and you got to be looking for them. Because if you just follow the, you know, the path marked, then you're not going to be getting the best time or the best score. There we go. Oh, and my one minute's almost done. And then I wrecked. And that's it. That's that's the game in a nutshell. Now I wanted to show you something here. It shows you there's different uh, different biomes. You got desert. You've got like a misty swamp. I like the animals. The art style is just gorgeous. I really really like it. Secret locations. I think they show you one more thing too. And then yeah, online leaderboards. So the game that I reviewed and have been playing, Super Flight, unlock new bikes. This reminds me of Super Flight a little bit. This is a little bit more complex than Super Flight. Uh, than, than Super Flight. Can't speak. But it's it's that same really simplistic. You know, it's it's not a it's not a complex game. But it's as complex as you make it, and that is a style of game that I'm really starting to appreciate and enjoy. Because you know, if you just feel like having a more leisurely run, well then go for it. But if you want to really challenge yourself and get the new high score, the new best time, then you're going to have to challenge yourself. There's no way that you can just, you know, go with the uh, the road best marked. No, oh, please don't crash. I'm actually doing really good this run. Oh, oh, I'm doing so good, except for when I'm not, and then I'm not, and then there's the bridge. Yeah, baby. And then, come on, come on. Oh, I'm doing so good. And there's this bridge. This is like the farthest I've gotten. There's another bridge. And another... Oh, I can't believe how far I got. We're going for it. I can't see what happened, but I hit something. Oh, no, maybe it was just the timer. Well, that's the farthest I've ever gotten. And that's pretty awesome. I'm actually really glad that you guys got to see me get that far. I don't know how much further I could actually get in that one-minute timer than... than as far as I got on that run. Um, and that's it. I mean, that's the game. It's, it, again, it's, I'm not trying to, you know, be repetitive here, but it is simple. Um, it, it's, I love it. I love it that it's something that you can, that you can really enjoy and you can have some spectacular wipeouts. Oh, it's a shame too, because your character actually can go pretty far and he will get hurt. And I guess that makes sense. I mean, that in real life would just destroy you if you did that, you know? I mean, people do some pretty amazing things uh, in some of the BMX competitions and things like that, but let's be honest, for the normal rider, that's gonna, it's gonna do a little bit more than you can handle. Oh! <clears throat> and this actually brings me to another point that I, oh, see now, there you go. Now look at that, that was, that was quick. You can really find some... 
Oh, it's too bad. It's just oh, it's so much fun. Like when you when you find a shortcut and nail flying down the the hill at like however fast you're going, I don't know. It feels so good. And that's the mark of a good game. A game that can get you invested in the gameplay. And there's earthquake simulations in the game, too. Uh, there's actually... I'm just kidding. That was a bug. You know what? We're going for it. I think we could totally... Hold on a second. Oh, see, there's... That's what I'm looking forward to when I when playing this the, the full title here. Like, what kind of stuff can you land? You know, like what kind of shortcuts can you find that are just insane? And then this will be another one of those games where I'm going to encourage you guys to post uh, clips of your gameplay so that we can enjoy each other's adventures down the side of a mountain. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean that's it. This was supposed to be a really quick video and it is a really quick video. And it brings me to my final point here. My final point is this. I've been doing this channel now for two or three months and it's going okay. It's not going too bad, but I feel like the channel needs some more direction. What I've done up until this point is I have simply uh, done new Steam games that come out. That's been my bread and butter. It's just newer Steam games that come out, usually games between $12 and $25. Um, I try to find the titles that people are really curious about, but maybe don't want to like drop the coin on. And so I try to test it out, see if it's good, kind of give you my first impressions, quick review, and then, uh, you know, in my recommendation. And Or if the game is just terrible, then I... I just let you guys know it's a terrible game. Don't waste your money. Um, if it's early access, maybe it's like really broken early access where it's just not worth it and hold off. Um, or if the game has potential in early access and it's one to kind of keep an eye on. So that's what the channel's been thus far. And what I'm thinking about doing, I've had somebody just recently here rec or request me to do a mobile title that I did review. And it was good. It was a good mobile title. Um, it did, I think, mobile gaming right, and that it gave you, the player, the option about if you wanted to do any kind of in-app or purchase or not. And you could play the full game without spending a penny, and it's not sitting there trying to, like, you know, block you off by only letting you play for a certain period of time or pushing you towards microtransactions. I don't even think it had microtransactions. You could just you could do a single purchase that would turn off, um, like, the commercials. Uh, in the game and uh, the advertisements. So anyway, I'm getting off track here. Sorry. The point is, is that um, I'd like to add segments to this channel. So I could do a segment where I do a mobile game each week. You know, like a, a good mobile game that I recommend because a lot of us are stuck waiting in line. You know, waiting, uh, just waiting in general. And so I think a lot of us probably will pull our phone out. And if we're not calling somebody or messaging somebody, then we're you know playing a game on our phone. So it's worthwhile to know if there's good games out there, ones that aren't going to sit there and try to pull every last dollar out of your wallet, uh, and you could still enjoy them. So that could be a segment, doing a mobile title. And then I thought about adding a segment for games like this, not even on Steam, not even in early access yet. You know, I go out and find demos, um, alphas that I could sign up for, things like that, where I can bring you guys information about new and upcoming games that you could maybe go out and support if you're interested in, or follow for when they drop on Steam in early access or it's a full release. And, uh, you know, I could just, it, it could just be brand new games, games just that are on the horizon still to bring your attention to that. And then I could still do the newer games that are dropping on Steam, whether it's as a full release or an early access, kind of what I've been doing thus far already. So please let me know in the comment section below. I'm really trying to get um, some direction for this channel, and I want it to start shaping up where it's driven some by the viewers, of course, and then my capabilities and my availability as well. Um, I'd love to be able to do this full time and to bring you guys bigger reviews for bigger titles. Um, I really would, and I just don't have the time right now, unfortunately. These shorter, smaller videos, well, they're not really short, they're 20 minutes long, but these videos where I'm able to only play for a few hours um, and then test out the game is what I'm capable of doing. I don't have any other, I don't have any extra time right now to do bigger titles, and I feel bad because some people have requested RPGs or MOB, uh, not MOBA, sorry, MMOs that they want me to look at. And it's not that I don't want to look at those games, it's that I don't have time. Because an MMO or a full-blown RPG requires at least a 20 to 40 hour time 
investment before I can really bring you guys a review that's worth a dime. You know, I can sit there and play it for 15, 20 minutes and just say, yep, it's pretty, uh, or yeah, this first 20 minutes is fun, but that doesn't really do you guys any, um, any justice whether or not you want this game or not. It's not really a good service to bring to you guys. So uh, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd really, really appreciate it. And uh, I am working very hard to build this channel up where I can just be working one job and putting all of my extra time into the channel and I'm, I'm trying to get there I'm, I'm working towards that and I can only do it with your support and I really really appreciate how much feedback I've been getting the comments in the comment section the likes on the videos the subscriptions thank you so so much I really really appreciate it and uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video guys thank you again I always love having you on E Electric Productions it's always a it's always a pleasure to have every single viewer stop by and take a look at my content and I, I appreciate it very very much so thank you again I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of the Electric Productions and until then game on everyone bye bye